dear students welcome back to your science class i hope you all are fit and fine safe and healthy at your home so students today we are going to deal with lesson number 13 travel with family lesson number 13 travel with family so here the meaning of travel is nothing but moving or going from one place to an another place going from one place to an another place is called as travel Yes. So in this lesson, we are going to deal with four important topics. So students, first let us discuss the tour. So here the first topic is nothing but planning a tour. What it is? Planning a tour. So here the meaning of planning is nothing but it is a pre-decided course of action which will be taken in the future. For example, your birthday is yet to come, but what we do? We plan a thing. So that your birthday should be done in this way. Yes. Well, what all the food items should be? What all the snacks should be there? So what we do? We plan a thing. Yes. We plan a party. So that is nothing but a planning. So once again, the meaning of planning. Planning is nothing but it is a pre-decided course of action which will be taken in the future, which is yet to come. Yes. So planning a tour. And the second one is the need for travel. So, what is the need for travel that we are going to discuss? Yes, and the related new words are holiday, tour, travel, journey, pleasure, duration, documents, refreshment, occasion, knowledge. Once again, holiday, tour, travel, journey. Pleasure, duration, documents, refreshment, occasion, knowledge. Now repeat after me. H O L I D A Y. Holiday. Tour. T O U R. Travel. T R A V E L. Journey. J O U R N E Y. Pleasure. P L E. A S U R E duration D U R A T R O N documents D O C U Y E N T S refreshment R E Y F R E S H refresh Y E N T ment refreshment next occasions O D B L C A S R O N S knowledge K N O D E Y E D G E knowledge. So students, these all are few new words. As we are going to discuss the lesson, I'll be telling you all the meaning one by one. Now take out your science textbook part three and go to page number twenty six. So let us discuss what they have given in the text. Does your family go on holiday to new places? So, students, does a family go on holiday to a new places? Yes, of course. All of us, when there is a holiday, what we do? We go to a new places. So, here the first, the meaning of holiday is nothing but an extended period of leisure and recreation. Especially one spent away from home or in traveling. Once again, student, the meaning of holiday: an extended period of leisure or recreation. Especially one spent away from home. So, students, as you know that holiday where we spend, we spend outside our home in traveling also. Next. You must have seen your parents packing everything carefully before going on holiday. Yes, students, our parents what they do? They pack all the things carefully, all the needed things carefully. Yes. Do you know how they plan for a tour? So, students, how our parents will plan for a tour? Parents decide the duration of the tour. So, a time period. Yes. They decide a duration of a tour. Next, 
place to visit. They what they decide to decide a particular place where they want to visit. Next, mode of travel and place of stay. So again, what they travel? Again, what they plan? They plan mode of tra travel. That by bus, by train, yes, or by airway, they travel that. Next, and the place to stay. So where you want to stay, that they decide. Yes. So our parents, what they decide? They decide the duration of the tour, place to visit, mode of travel, and place to stay. Given in remembering text. During holidays, people travel with their family and friends to different places. So students, with our family, what we do? We travel from different places. Yes, we travel from one place to another place. Usually, people visit new places when they go on tour. So students, always we will not, we not be going on a particular place. So what we do? We travel from one place to an another place. In each and every holiday, what we used to see? We see different, different places. Yes, so people visit new places when they go on tours. So here, the meaning of tour is nothing but a tour is a journey or pleasure in with several different places are visited. So students, a tour is nothing but it is a journey for pleasure in which several different places are visited. So here, the meaning of journey is nothing but an act of traveling from one place to another place. Once again student, the meaning of journey, an act of traveling from one place to another place. And the pleasure is nothing but a, feel, a feeling of happy, satisfaction and enjoyment. So what we do? We feel satisfaction, we feel enjoyment. Yes, when we travel, when we go on tour. Yes. So a meaning of tour is nothing but a journey is, a tour is a journey to pleasure in which several different places are visited. Yes. Now go to page number 27. When we visit a new place, we may not know where to go and what to do. Yes, students, when we travel from one place to another place, we may not know where to go and what to do. Yes, we may not even know the type of clothes suitable for that place. Yes, even we don't know the type of clothes we wear is suitable for that place or not. Yes. So, it is important to plan a tour in advance. So, students, we don't know all these things. So, what we have to do? We have to plan a tour in advance. Yes, we have to know about that a particular place. Next, let us now learn how to plan a tour. So, students, now let us discuss how to plan a tour. Planning a tour. So, here the first point is nothing but decide the duration. Duration is nothing but the time period. Yes. Next, decide the place. So, where we are going, we have to decide that a particular place. Yes. Next, decide the mode of transport. Yes, even we have to decide the mode of transport that we are going by a four wheeler or by bus or by air, airway or by train. Yes. So, that we have to try. Decide that is nothing but mode of transport. Next, choose the place to stay. So, where we have to stay, that place we have to choose it. Next, pack our things. So, the last one is nothing but we should pack our things. So, students, let this all be discussed in a detail. First one, decide the duration. We first need to decide the number of days for the tour. Yes, students, whenever we are going, what we have to do? We have to decide that for how many days we are going for a particular tour. Yes, so we have to decide the number of days. We should not plan a tour during school days. Yes, students, we should not plan our tour during school days. Why? Because our classes will be missed. Yes, so we have to decide a tour on vacations. Next, second point, decide the place. We decide the place according to the season. Things to go and the money we can spend. So students, what we have to do? We have to decide the 
place according to the season yes so in rainy season we can't go for a fall sandal yes so in that way you have to decide a particular place according to the season for example visit hill station is idle during summer so students visiting a hill station is idle during summers yes next third one decide the mode of travel so what we have to do students we have to decide the mode of travel we can travel by boat train or plane so students what we have to do we can travel by roadway that is nothing but by buses car yes train that is nothing but by uh, train yes and by airway that is nothing but by a aeroplane that is flights next we need to book bus train or plane tickets accordingly so what we have to do students we have to book the tickets yes accordingly next choose the place to stay so students what we have to do we have to choose the place where we want to stay yes we need to book a hotel room to stay in so students we are going for a long trip then what we have to do we have to book a hotel next if we have any relatives or family friends there we can stay with them too so students if any one of your family members are there so no need of booking hotel room you can stay in their home yes now the last point is nothing but pack our things yes we should pack our bags well in advance so students what we have to do we have to pack our bag well in advance our bag should be light so they can can be easily carry so students we should not pack our bag heavy okay it should be light why because we can carry them easily yes however we must remember to carry important things like our id card tickets important documents and medicine so students what we have to do we have to carry our identity card yes that is the thing about your other card yes that we have to carry one of your identity card should be carried next tickets yes tickets are very compulsory if there is no ticket then you can't travel so we have to keep our tickets next important documents so here the meaning of documents is nothing but a piece of written printed or electronic matter once again student a piece of written printed or electronic matter that provide information or evidence so it provides an information and even evidence or the service of an official record so it will have a record so what you have to do we have to take our important documents and last one is nothing but an medicines even we have to carry our medicines yes for example in your home there there may be your grandparents yes so what you have to do we have to carry their medicines also we must also carry our clothes brushes combs toothbrush and toothpaste so student this all are important things we have to take our clothes yes we have to carry our clothes next we should take our brush comb toothpaste toothbrush yes this all are important things that we have to carry when we go on tour sometimes we may even need to carry umbrella warm clothes swim suits and food so students sometimes what we have to carry we need to carry also umbrella yes warm clothes that is nothing but your woolen clothes and even swim suits and even food items next we may also carry along a camera to record the memories of the trip so students what we have to do even we have to carry a camera yes why because to record our memories yes when we go on trip you can see that there is a passport things to be carried by packing for travel so what are the things that we have to carry when we are going for for travel so we have to carry tickets passport and then food items and the clothes yes now turn your page and go to page number 28 so students now let us discuss the second point that is nothing but the need for travel yes 
So here, the need for travel is nothing but first point is refreshment, meet extended family members, third of gain knowledge, job and business, religious too. So let us discuss in detail. So students go to understand the text. We have learned to plan too. Let us now find why people travel. So students, now we are going to discuss why people travel from one place to another place. People travel for various reasons. Yes, people they travel from one place to another place for some reason. Yes, now let us discuss. Need for travel, the first point is nothing but refreshment. So here, everybody gets tired or bored for daily activities. It is good to go on a tour to get refreshed. We are students continuously doing the same activity. We feel bored and tired. So what we have to do? We have to go on a tour for our refreshment. Yes, to refresh our mind. Yes, so the first point is nothing but refreshment. Second one, meet extended family members. People may also travel to visit their extended family members. Yes, people they travel from one place to another place to visit their extended family members. Yes, they may celebrate festival or special occasions together during holidays. So students, they go and they celebrate their festivals and special occasions. Yes, they celebrate their festivals and occasions yes with the help with the extended family students they go and meet the extended family and even they celebrate with the festivals also next gain knowledge so students here the meaning of knowledge is nothing but fact information skill acquired through experience or education once again, student, the meaning of knowledge, facts, information, skill acquired through experience or education. So, even we go for to, to gain knowledge. Yes, some people travel to learn about different people, places and cultures. So, here people will gain knowledge. Yes, when they go on to about the different places yes next about people and even about culture also so here the meaning of culture is nothing but the idea customs and social behavior of a particular people or society once again student the meaning of culture the idea custom and social behavior how they perform of a particular people that is nothing but about a particular person or about a society. Yes. So they will gain knowledge about culture, place and about people. Next. Job and business. So students, some people they travel or some person they travel on the basis of their job and business. So here, what is the difference between job and business? Job is nothing but that a paid position of regular employee. Okay. It is a paid position. Okay. The higher authority, what will you do? They pay them on the basis of a month. That is nothing but a salary. Yes. And business is nothing but a, a person, regular occupation, profession or trade. So here the meaning of trade is nothing but traveling goods and services. Yes. So transportation of goods and services is called as trade. So business is nothing but his own business which is owned up by him own self. Yes. So a business is a person, regular, occupation, profession or a trade. Where job is nothing but trade and it is a pre, it is a paid position of a regular employee. Yes. So some person or some people they travel on the basis of their job and business. Some people travel to far away places for work. Yes, to perform their job, what they do, they travel for far away places. Sales 
management. Last one, religious tool. So you have done the last one is nothing but that religious tool. Some people travel to place of religious importance. So here the meaning of religious is nothing but relating or behaving in religion. So they totally depend on religion. Some religious places like Shirdi, Tirupati. Yes, these all are religious place. So some people what they do? They go for a religious tour. Yes. So need for travel is nothing but on the basis of the refreshment, meet extended family members, gain knowledge, job and business, and the last one is nothing but religious tour. So students, now let us discuss the third and the fourth topic. So here the third topic is traveling for adventure and the fourth one is traveling with friends yes so first let us discuss the third topic that is traveling for adventure under application x we have learned that people travel with their family for refreshment knowledge business and so on but there are some people who travel with their family for an adventure so students we have already learned that People they travel with their family for their refreshment, business, knowledge, and many more. Yes, even people, some people travel with family for an adventure. Yes, they may go hiking, mountaining, or camping. So, students, we have already discussed in the same one about the different types of hobbies. Yes, so even they go for adventure sports like two for adventure sports like hiking, mountaining and camping. They may also take part in different adventure sports. So students even they take part in different adventure sports. Yes, so here the meaning of adventure is something but an unusual or exciting or daring experience. Once again students, the meaning of adventure an unusual or exciting or daring experience okay so the different adventure sports are nothing but adventure sports are dangerous yes adventure sports are very dangerous as you can look at the picture yes there is sky diving raping then jet skinny yes then this all are nothing but it is very dangerous so adventure sports are dangerous next we should not we should carry proper safety equipment to perform them. So students, what we have to do? We have to carry a safety equipment, yes, a proper equipment before we go and we perform their adventure sports for our safety. What we have to do? We have to carry a proper equipment. Next, they should not be performed under ex without expert support. Supervision. So, so we have to perform this adventure sports with an expert supervisors. Yes. Next, without proper guidance, they cannot, they can get injured. So, students, without proper guidance, we can get injured. So, with the proper guidance, we have to perform. Yes. Now, go to page number twenty-nine. Let us see what they have given in amazing fact. Lakhan is the one of the most famous tourist place in India. So students, this place is one of the important tourist place in India. The Pankow High School Lake situated in Lakhan is the largest lake in India. So students, this Pankow Toast Lake it is a largest place in the India, largest lake in the India. The water in the lake appear that has multiple colors. So students, this lake has water which has many multiple colors. Yes, it displays shades of blue, green and sometimes red. So students, it has been displayed the shade with the blue, green and sometimes red in color. It has been fe featured in some popular movies too. So students, this lake it has been featured in some popular movies too. Yes, 
Now let us discuss the last form that is nothing but traveling with friends. Higher order thinking skill H O T S. We may not always go out with our family. So students always be know we will not be going with out with our families. Yes, sometimes we travel with our classmates or friends. Yes, students. Sometimes what we do we travel with our classmates and even friends. Yes. Have you ever been to a school picnic? Where did you go and what did you do? So students, whenever you went for a school picnic, where you went and what you have done there? Yes, but some school picnics are generally in museum or place of historical importance. Why to gain knowledge about it? So students, most of the school picnics are taken to an historical places. Why? Because to gain an knowledge of that particular place yes so students by this we have completed this lesson also so what all we have discussed we have discussed about planning a tour next the need for travel traveling for an adventure then traveling with friends yes so students now take out your science workbook part 2 go to page number 26 multiple choice question question number 1 which of the following is a factor while deciding a place for a tour a season b things to do c money d important things to pack so the right option is option d important things to pack question number 2 which of the following things is very important to carry while traveling a ticket b camera c umbrella d toiletries so the correct answer is option a tickets fill in the blanks third one visiting hill station is ideal during summers s u m m e r s fourth one we take a dash to record the memories of our trip so what we need we need a camera c a m e r a camera next very short answer question read the following and answer them so students they have given you one paragraph yes so what we have to do we have to read it and we have to answer the following questions prash family has decided to go to singapore this vacation so students where have they where they have decided they have decided to go to a singapore yes this vacation they will fly on 2nd may and return in a week so they will go by an aeroplane that is airway yes on 2nd may and return on a week so when and they'll come back in a week Prashi is very excited so she is very excited she has already started making a list to buy things so students she has already started making a list of things to buy so fifth question is where is prashi going on vacation so she is going to a singapore so you have to write the spelling of the singapore s a n g a p o r e Sixth one. What is the mode of travel? So she go by fly. That is nothing but the mode of travel is aeroplane. A e r o p l a n e. Aeroplane. Now turn your page and go to page number twenty seven. Short answer question. Question number seven. What is a tool? So we have to write the meaning or definition of tool. So here the answer is a tour is a journey for pleasure in which several different places are visited. So a tour is nothing but a a journey or for pleasure in which several different places are visited. So we visit several different places. So I will write this answer next. Understanding match the following. So they have given you a picture. What I have to do? We have to match the following. Next, 
there is a picture eight one is picture of Taj Mahal that is nothing but travel for refreshment. Why they are going? They are going to travel for refreshment. So eight one will be option B. Ninth one. So he is sitting with a laptop. Yes. So he is doing at work. So travel for a business purpose. That is option C. Ninth one is C. Tenth one. Where they are going? They are going to celebrate festival. Yes, that is travel to celebrate a festival with an extended family members. So tenth one is B. Eleventh one. There is a religious place. Yes, so travel to a religious place. Eleventh one is option. Eleventh uh, one is A. Yes, once again student. Eighth one is D. Ninth one is C. Tenth one is B. And the eleventh one is A. So what you have to do? You have to draw a line. Yes, to match the correct. Now go to page number twenty-eight. Short answer question. Question number two. What knowledge do we gain while traveling to a different places? So students, what knowledge we get when we travel from different places? We learn about different people and their culture. Yes. So the answer will be when we travel. to different places we learn about dif different people yes we learn about different people and their cultures that is one when people meet their extended family members what do we what do they do so students when people they meet their extended family members yes so what do we, what do they do so people sometimes travel to Visit the extended family members. They may celebrate festival or special occasions together to make holidays. So what they do? They celebrate festivals or a special occasions with their family members. Long answer question. Question number fourteen. Why do people need to travel for refreshment? So students, why do we travel? For refreshment, everybody will get tired by doing their daily or regular activities. It is good to go on a tour to get refreshed. Yes, so people they go and visit different cities, villages, or forest area for the refreshment. Yes. Next application multiple choice question question number fifteen. Which of the following is not an example of traveling for adventure? Which is not an example for traveling of an adventure? A. Hiking. B. Visiting religious places. C. Mountaining. D. Camping. So the correct answer is option B. Visiting religious places. It is not an adventure. Yes. Now turn your page and go to page number twenty nine. Sixteenth question. Which of the following is an example of an adventure sport? A. Tennis. B. Skydiving. C. Badminton. And D. Football. So the right option is option B. That is skydiving. Short answer question. Question number seven. Due to example of adventure travel, so students, what we have to do? We have to give them two examples of adventure travel. That may be hiking. Mountaining or camping. In this three, you can write any two of them. Eighteenth one. What care should be taken by traveling part in an adventure sport? So students, what care should be taken by taking part in adventure sport? We should have proper safety equipments to take a part in adventure sport. They should be performed under. Expert supervision. Yes. Next, long answer question. Nineteenth one. Identify the adventure sports. So what we have to do? We have to identify the adventure sports. They have given you a picture and side they have given you a column. So we have to write down. So A one is nothing but rafting. R A F T I N G. Rafting. B one is para. Building that is P A R A G L I D I N G. Next, go to page number thirty. That is C one is scuba diving. 
S C U B A D I B I N G and B one is nothing but mountain. M O U N T A I N double T R I N G. Last question that is from Albert Thinking Skill. Long answer question. Question number twenty. Have you ever gone to on a tour with your family or a school picnic? Write in a short about it. So students, what you have to do? You have to write a short paragraph about have you ever gone a trip with the your family or a school picnic? In this book, on any one topic, you can write. So what all you should write there? Where did you go? Yes, where did you go? That the name of that place you have to write. How did you reach there? So in the mode of transport, you went by a airway, roadway, or railway. So in this three, in which way you have reached there, you have to write that. Next, where did you stay? So students, where did you stay? That you have to write. And what all did you do? So what all the activity or what you have done there, you have to write it. Yes. So students, you have to write a short paragraph about the tour. Yes, that you went with your family or by a or a school picnic. Yes, students, by this we have completed our workbook part also. So what you have to do? You have to complete all the work which is given in the workbook and read it, practice it, and be thorough in this lesson also. So in the next class, we are going to deal with the next lesson. Okay, my dear students, thank you.